guys, Skylar2556, uh, going to teach y'all how to stream live video to Justin TV. And I know Justin TV's website has a tutorial, but it's, it don't go very in depth. And it doesn't give you one necessary uh, application that you need to stream live PlayStation 3, Wii, or Xbox 360 video to the website. So I'm going to show y'all, and I want you to go ahead and jump right into it. First, you need these two applications right here, and I'll put the links in the description. And first off, you're going to open up VH Capture. I already had the one opened up. And you're going to click down this drop down box, and you're going to click VHS CR Cap. Once you have that, go over here to this little arrow. And you type and you click on video capture, and that will open up a new window called VH Screen Capture Driver. Go ahead and click on the scra uh, capture ca tab, click on track screen, check that box right there, and then you're gonna go here to settings and make sure your border color is black, your frame rate is 30. Now I want you to check every box except for register and ROT. And make sure your aspect is 720 by 480. And once you have all this done, you can go ahead and exit off. And exit that, or you can change your audio capture source to whatever. All I have is the regular computer microphone up right now. And that's what I'm going to leave it as. So go ahead and exit out of that. Next, you want to open up Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder. And I already have this pulled up down here. I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen so you're going to see a little bit better. And we go over here to Devices. And I want you to go down and type and click on VHS CR Cap. Once you do that, come down here to Format. And you have two choices. H.264 or VP6 and if you have a high good running PC go ahead and click on the first one if you have a slower one I'd recommend the second one and I'm on my laptop right now so it's not very powerful I'm going to go ahead and click on that then I'm going to go here to the settings and you don't want your keyframe to be three seconds your quality you can adjust that by watching yourself stream and see how laggy it is or whatever but I find great quality works for me noise reduction you want to average or low and just leave the others as medium and the, uh, the CPU usage is dedicated once you do that come down here to input size you want to get that the four I mean 720 by 480 don't check maintain aspect ratio because it will mess up your video. And you then come down here to bitrate. Now, I recommend not going too high because it will mess up your viewers' uh, experience, even if it doesn't yours. Because if they don't have a high running internet, then it won't show up too good. You want to change your output size to 720. By 480, and once you do that, just leave all these boxes down here alone. Come over here to your audio, click on my leave it as microphone or your headset or whatever. Do not change it to like your hapage or anything's audio, or as it will just exit everything out. And format for your audio is MP3. Your channel should be stereo. Sample rate uh, 44100. Your bit rate should be 96. Now you can adjust the volume right here, but I recommend to keep it on the lower half as Justin TV amps up your volume pretty good. So I recommend about right there or halfway. And. Then you want to come over here to your stream options. And there's a URL right here. And I'll put this URL in the description. 
and your stream right here though you have to go on to justintv.com and look for it under like the link that lets you download the live encoder it should be under there and everybody's got different ones so I can't really help you all out there and from there on you can just click connect and it will connect you to the server down here it'll show and then once you're connected you can go ahead and press start and you will go live on Justin TV now guys uh, remember to rate comment subscribe and right now I don't have any uh, capture device hooked up so it didn't really show any gameplay or anything but once you get hooked up just follow those steps and hopefully you'll have a successful